Hello YouTube. So today I'm doing another follow-up video on the 8-inch New Vision tablet. And this one I've had for, I would say, about 10 months now, roughly. Um, and this one has been going strong. Um, I've had it and used it for school purposes. Um, I, I used to have it with a keyboard and a stand and I even had a mouse for it everything I had like the whole setup the, then I eventually got a keyboard uh, and mouse combo and it was it was working well um, so but eventually my Android tablet did die on me completely so I made this my new tablet in the house and it's not my tablet on the go anymore I use my 10 inch tablet for that but so as you can see uh, this is a hundred percent brightness and it's also at a hundred percent volume so let's uh, open up Netflix real quick so you could see um, so far this tablet has been good um, again there is issues with like sometimes turning on or anything like that um, I do have to attempt it a lot uh, probably I would say like five times sometimes just turn it back on if it's been a while but it will eventually turn back on so um let's uh listen to the audio quality it's pretty much the same uh hardware as the 10 inch tablet now, obviously the 10 inch tablet does have a little bit of extra features it does uh, have the uh, digital pen and it also has uh um the ability obviously to take notes and stuff um so as you can see here's the here's the value Oh, well, that's probably not uh, appropriate. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I just turned that off. And anyways, um, so like I was saying, uh, let's see. Um, I think this one actually runs a little bit better than the 10-inch tablet just because um, I had done a little bit of optimization for it. So I allocated some of the storage memory that it has, 32 gigabytes. I allocated it, and I uh, I made it part of the RAM, uh, digital RAM, um, or virtual RAM, I mean. And uh, this one, as you can see, some of these pictures just kind of just like skip, like immediately. They, they don't have like a smooth transition. And the reason being is because uh, that's another part of the optimization, just to make it a little bit quicker, a little bit, um, it just so it could run a little bit faster and better overall. Um, but I mostly use this one, since now it's always at home, I mostly use it for maybe like shopping on Amazon or, or um, uh, Netflix watching, some YouTube watching. So this one, I don't even have a, I don't even have a keyboard with it anymore. I kind of just use it just like that. Um, but overall, I mean, it, it serves its purpose well. Um, Let's see. So, but again, it does have its limitations. So you can see, I, I keep trying to wait for it to load and pull up uh, a keyboard so I could start typing, but it's not. And that also is my fault because it's not in a uh, tablet mode. So let me do that now. There we go. Tablet mode. The keyboard should. There we go. So that was my fault. But there you go. So you can see everything runs pretty smooth. Um. I think it does run better just because uh, than the 10 inch tablet just because of the little things the little quirks that it did for it but most of the stuff was just stuff that i looked up on youtube and i wound up doing that and this is a, a 10 inch uh, a 1080p uh, screen as well so it does have a pretty um uh, vivid screen and let's see so right now it's running off of the same wi-fi as uh, the 10 inch tablet does and you can see it is running a little bit better better just i would say it's because of just the, the little things i did to it but here's a youtube video and again um youtube does should run technically a little bit better on edge on these kind of um low-end pcs and let's see hello youtube today i'm going over the rb So, as you can see, it does uh, 
run pretty well. It is, I think it's not a 1080 or HD or anything. I think it's like 480 right now. I want to say. It's at 360. 300, yeah, 360. So here it is just going. And sometimes it does get a little warm to a touch like back here on this side. Right here. But overall it's pretty good. And... Yeah, so this little tablet, I'd say if you could find it for $50, definitely get it. Um, I think I got it because I got this one when it came around the time it came out, probably like like probably like two, three months after it came out. And I got this one actually for about like 70 or $80. It's been a while, so. Um, but I think it's still a very good tablet. Um, I, I don't know if they're using a... If they're using the 10 inch tablet to kind of replace it but um this one actually does a pretty good job overall and yeah so there's just a quick look at it after um 10 months roughly so if you guys have any questions have any concerns just leave them in the comments let me know and i'll get back to you as soon as i can um if you guys have any um other concerns again just let me know um like don't like subscribe and have a good one thank you for watching